Fang Shiyu is a student in the world's toughest Shaolin school. In the opening scene, he gets ready for the final test that will determine if he is worthy of graduating as a prestigious warrior. The test is known as the Wooden Death Battle. In the test, Shiyu has to fight wooden puppets, controlled by many great warriors who have trained for several decades. Only a few percent of students pass this test, but Shiyu is confident in his skills. As soon as he tells the puppets that he is ready, they start to move. The first attack is made by a pair, but it is an easy dodge. But then, a third puppet hits him in the chest, revealing the first two moves were just a distraction. Shiyu stomps on the ground and his robe flies off his torso. His skin starts to glow, forming a protective layer of copper around his body. It is the most advanced technique, called the copper skin, that Shiyu had mastered at a young age. Following that, he defeats all the puppets one after another. Just when he thinks he is done, the puppets combine and transform into a bigger version of themselves. This structure is not as easy to defeat as the previous ones. When Shi realizes that he cannot beat it with strength, he decides to use his brain instead. He looks for a chance to get his hands on the strings being used to control the puppet. Then he pulls on them, causing the handlers to fall. Was that a strategy or was that just cheating? In the end, he defeats the uncontrolled puppet and graduates with honor. In the following scene, we are introduced to a corrupt elected official named Lao. Recently, he stole 5 million yuan from the city's treasury for personal gain. It is the biggest fraud the city has ever faced, and Lao is eager to hide his involvement in the heist. Hence, he kills his accomplice and his entire family with the help of his right-hand man, Ming. Lao doesn't want to spare even the ones looking for him, just to ensure the truth never comes out. However, a ledger made by his assistant that has all the details about the money has been stolen. He has to get it back before it gets into the hands of the great emperor. If his involvement is proven, he is sure to be executed. Somewhere else, Shiyu arrives in his hometown and meets his childhood best friend, Han. They decide to not tell his mother about his arrival because she is strict and won't let them have fun. They are also friends with a girl named Rong. She is in love with Shiyu, while Han is in love with her. So the best friends have a love triangle going on between them. Han and Shiyu are on their way to meet her when they come across a giant beast of a man, hurting a guy smaller than him. The giant is named Bear Paw and is working for the corrupt Lao. Shiyu interrupts them and attacks Pa. The other guy runs away while Pa and Shiyu fight. Soon, Pa realizes that his opponent is a warrior, but the guy he wanted has already run away, so he doesn't see any use in fighting. He also runs away on a horse while being followed by Shiyu. They stop in the middle of the market and are about to go for a second round, but Shiyu's mother, who is also a trained fighter, interrupts the commotion. This gives Pa a chance to escape and Shiyu is caught. He lied to his mother that he wouldn't be in the city for two more days. Knowing that he was planning to create more trouble, she puts him under house arrest. But Shiyu is not someone who can be controlled so easily. He makes sure his mother is not in the house before running outside to get his clothes. Just then, he comes across a beautiful girl named Tang. Since she is changing her clothes, she screams on seeing a man in front of her. Before she can ask him who he is, she notices a group of soldiers coming her way. She quickly hides, leaving Shiyu to talk to the soldiers. They inquire if he has seen a girl nearby, but Shiyu helps Ting and sends them away with the wrong information. Just when Ting comes out and thanks him, Han and Rong arrive at the scene. Rong thinks something is going on between them and is filled with jealousy. She runs away, and to clear the misunderstanding, Shiyu pulls Ting behind and follows her. In the market, a man shows Han a sketch, asking him if he has seen the person. Han recognizes the sketch as Rong's father, but doesn't tell that to the stranger. He also registers that the stranger works for a wealthy businessman named Tiger, which might mean Tiger is after Rong's father. He immediately goes to Rong and tells her what he saw. She thanks him for informing her, but is unfazed, because her father is in another town. Although Rong pretends like everything is fine in front of Han. As soon as he leaves, her demeanor changes. She brings out a chest that contains the ledger that the corrupt official Lao is looking for. Rong's father is the original bearer of the ledger and has the power to end Lao's rule. This is why many soldiers are behind him and his daughter. The next morning, Xiu and Ting come to Rong's home to clear up the misunderstanding. However, they find Han frantically running out of the house. It turns out that Rong is missing, and Han thinks the businessman Tiger has kidnapped 
kidnapped her since he was looking for her father yesterday. Shiyu doesn't waste time before looking for Tiger. The man is in the market, fighting people in a challenge the crowd battle. Shiyu goes to the stage, asking him where Rong is, but even Tiger has no clue what he is talking about. They get into a fight, and Shiyu easily defeats him. To his surprise, Tiger laughs and accepts his defeat, declaring him his son-in-law. It is then revealed that the challenge the crowd was a quest to look for a husband for his daughter. Tiger really doesn't seem to know anything about Rong's disappearance, so Shiyu lets him go. He also runs away from the crowd, hoping he won't be forced to marry someone he doesn't like. In the following scene, everyone is in Rong's house when she walks in, revealing that she was never kidnapped. They ask her where she was, but Rong doesn't want to answer the question just yet. She hands Shiyu a sculpture of him that she made herself. Han feels jealous, but doesn't show it on his face. Later, Shiyu and Ting are on their way back home, when all of a sudden, Tiger's people surround them. Tiger asks Ting where she has been for the past three days. Only then does Shiyu figure out that Tiger's daughter, who he is supposed to marry, is none other than Ting. Tiger also discloses that he is only looking for Rong's father because he was asked to do so by the court. It was a direct order from Officer Lau, so he could not decline. Shiyu puts two and two together and registers that Rong is in trouble. He is too late to realize this because somewhere else, the right-hand man Ming has already found Rong and her father. He is holding both of them hostage until they reveal where the ledger is. Rong's father repeatedly refuses to say anything, making Ming impatient. As a as a result, he threatens to kill Rong. To everyone's surprise, her father commits the unthinkable so she won't get hurt because of him. Right then, Shiyu arrives and sees that he is late. The guards try to attack him, but he kicks them all away and even lands a strong punch on Ming's chest. Knowing that they cannot fight their way through him, Ming takes Rong hostage and escapes with his people. In the end, Shiyu is left helpless with Rong's father's dead body. Meanwhile, Lao finds out the mission was unsuccessful. He orders Pa and his father Hu to kill Shiyu and bring the ledger to him at all costs. Pa doesn't like his father kneeling down in front of someone as evil as Lao, but he does as told for Hu's sake. Somewhere else, Shiyu receives a letter calling him Eastwood with the ledger in turn for Rong's life. He meets Ming, Hu, and Pa at the location later at night. To everyone's surprise, he gives them the ledger without a fuss, but Ming soon finds out it is a fake. This gives rise to a battle between Pa and Shiyu. They match in strength until Hu throws a poisonous powder into Shiyu's face, which makes him weak. Pa is ordered to take the opportunity and kill the man immediately, but he is busy helping his old and injured father. After the father and son leave, Ming plans to end Shiyu on his own, but right then, Tiger arrives and saves his life. In the end, Ming and his remaining soldiers have to retreat. At home, Shiyu soaks in a herbal bath to get rid of the effects of the poison. Meanwhile, Ming gives Pa the last chance to save his life. After what he did the last night, he is bound to be killed, but in turn for his life, he is asked to kill Shiyu and prove his worth. Pa goes to plan a move, leaving his father with Ming. Ming suggests Hu do something to not let his son be distracted again. Hu says he understands and decides to make a huge decision at this instant. In the meantime, Shiyu is looking at the sculpture that Rong gifted him. He accidentally presses a button and discovers the ledger is inside it. Now he can finally get Rong back, but that would mean Lao gets away with corruption. Just then, Shiyu gets a letter from Pa and leaves without telling anyone where he is going. A while later, he and Pa meet in a field and attack each other. Pa's life is at risk, so he gives it all, but Shiyu again overpowers him. In the end, he is about to land a deadly punch on his face, but decides otherwise. She remembers that Pa had a chance to kill him yesterday, but he didn't. Since he spared his life today, they are even. Following the fight, Pa goes home and finds Hu lying unconscious with a poison pot in his hand. He has committed the unthinkable because of Ming's wish to punish someone. In the following scene, Han arrives at Lao's residence and demands he let Rong go. He has even brought the ledger to trade her life with. Rong is brought outside with injuries all over her body. It is clear that she was tortured while imprisoned. Han is about to hand over the ledger when Shiyu arrives and pushes Ming back. He is joined by Tiger and his mother, who fight Lao's people while he is busy fighting the main villain. For the first time in his life, Shiyu faces an opponent stronger than himself. 
His copper protective lair is broken by Lao, who has bones made of iron. Xiu is only seconds away from being killed when Rong comes to his defense and takes the knife herself. She dies in the incident, and an enraged Han runs to take revenge. But against the wrath of mighty Lao, he is also killed. At the same time, Tiger and Xiu's mother are held captive. Lao turns his attention towards Xiu again, but this time he is stopped by Pa. He is furious at Lao for killing his father. Taking this opportunity, Xi runs away to save the ledger and himself. At last, Lao kills Pa as well. A day later, a notice about criminal's execution is put out. Lao has falsely accused Tiger and Xiu's mother and is about to hang them to death. Now, only their trump card, the ledger, can save their life. On the day of the execution, a small crowd gathers to witness it. Xiu interrupts the ceremony and declares Lao is a fraud in front of everyone. He even lists the illegal things Lao has done in the past. The audience starts chanting to abolish him, which angers Lao even more. He sends his army to attack the crowd. But half of them are not civilians, but actually Tiger's workers. They get into a fierce battle with the opponent. Tiger and Xiu's mother fight Ming, while Xiu takes care of Lao in a nearby shed. He is more confident in his moves, but still, Lao matches his energy. The fight only turns to Xiu's side when Lao is hit by a swinging log. He vomits blood and is finally defeated. Outside, all of Lao's people have lost. Following that, the Emperor Shang comes to the arena. He is shown the ledger, which proves Lao's involvement in corruption, and at last, he is imprisoned. The movie ends as the Emperor jokes that Tiger can lend him some money for the treasury. Tiger laughs and agrees. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.